Hey guys, Dislin Magic here, and it's time for another Overlooked But Awesome card, and this one is a doozy. When I saw this, I honestly didn't even think it was real. I thought, this has to be unglued or unhinged. No, this is a real card. Now, I have never seen this in a deck, despite it being from a fairly recent set. It was a mythic in Rise of the Eldrazi. Honestly, this creature gives the Eldrazi a run for their money. It is one of the most powerful in its class I've ever seen. If you want a big bucket of crazy, all you have to do is look at the Hydras. Hydras are usually notorious for one of two things. Either they're absolutely loved because they're horrifically powerful and awesome and people love putting them in their deck, or they're absolutely hated because they're really awesome and powerful and people love putting them in their deck, or also because they're terrible. Some Hydras are pathetically underpowered compared to ones coming before them, and some like Colonian and Miscutter are completely mental. This one, though, takes the cake. I'm, of course, talking about the legend himself, the Kalni Hydra. So if you look at it, yeah, it's pretty, wait a minute. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that costs eight green. This may possibly be the highest devotion creature in all of Magic the Gathering, and I am way too lazy to check. Now, devotion was a Theros mechanic, and Theros came out an awful lot longer than this, like so long in the future that they wouldn't have had it as a concept. There are a couple decks in Modern where uh, it's kind of trying to creep in because there's a lot of double-cost black, triple-cost black, quadruple-cost black, so black devotion is a thing, but I'm starting to think, hey, green might be a thing, because technically one of my latest Modern decks, Tap Dance, actually is a devotion deck that uses green. Let me explain why this is so powerful just to have a Colony Hydra on the field. Karametra's Acolyte. You can tap it to add uh, green to your mana pool equal to your devotion to green. So automatically between her and the Hydra, you've got nine. Then you've got a land called Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. And of course you pay two, tap it, choose a color, green obviously. Add to your mana pool an amount of mana of that color equal to the devotion to that color. So once again, obviously green. There's also a creature that can untap lands, and so, you know, you start targeting Nykthos, there's uh, another creature that can untap any permanent on the field, including lands. So you can see where I'm going with this, but back on the actual Hydra itself, it costs one green less to cast for each green creature you control, and it's an 8-8 eight, eight Trampler. Now, an 8-8 eight, eight for 8 is moderately okay, not great. An 8-8 eight, eight for 8 with Trample is pretty decent, but then an 8-8 eight, eight with Trample for less than 8 is insane. You could legitimately cast this for 0. Almost all recently printed cards that have a cost reduction reduce the cost by generic mana. That way there's bare minimum 1 mana, maybe 2 mana that you have to pay after all the colorless is already reduced. Or I should say generic. It's not colorless. It's generic when it's in a cost. This seriously reminds me of Metalwork Colossus. This is way better, though, because Metalwork Colossus does not have trample, and it's a lot harder to reduce the cost. I'm sure there are more than a couple spells in green that just dump out tokens like a Secure the Waste type mechanic, where you just pay X and bring out a boatload of green tokens, and guess what? It doesn't say non-token creatures, it just says green creatures. A lot of tokens have colors, in fact, almost all of them do. So this card is completely mental. I mean, anytime you can just flood the field with enough tokens to quadruple or septuple block anything that people throw at you, including a Tarmogoyf, and then use them to bring out a, a Hydra or a giant creature without even needing Cryptolith right on the field, I mean, you don't even need to tap them. It's crazy. Most Hydras are rare, this one's mythic, and I can see why. So hopefully you guys found this card very interesting. I know I did the second I saw the uh, cost there, and I'll see you guys next video.